Uh, we thank the Lord for his word that he is ministering to us from the beginning of this new year. இந்த புதிய வருடத்தின் ஆரம்பத்திலிருந்து தேவன் நம்மோடு கூட பேசுகிற வார்த்தைகளுக்காக நன்றி செலுத்துவோம் ஐ தேங்க் காட் ஃபார் த வே த லார்ட் ஹேஸ் லெட் அஸ் ஈவன் டு த புக் ஆஃப் ஹேகாய் ஆகாயின் புத்தகத்திற்கு தேவன் நம்மை வழிநடத்துகிற விதத்திற்காக நான் தேவனுக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துகிறேன் அண்ட் த பேர்டன் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் விச் த லார்ட் இஸ் ஹெல்பிங் அஸ் டு சி இந்த புத்தகத்திலிருந்து தேவன் தன் பாரத்தை அறிய உதவி செய்கிறார் the lord spoke to us that devan ammodu kuda pesinar the remnant of god that came to jerusalem jerusalem ku vanda devanukku meendirunda janangal to rebuild the temple of god devudey aalathe marubadiyum katta vanda janangal they came with one determination ore theermanathodu kuda vandargal and we know that the determination was to build the house அந்த வீட்டை கட்ட வேண்டும் என்பதை அந்த திருமணம் நிறுத்தப்பட்டது மறுபடியும் from then on we saw very clearly we we need to understand the book of hagai and the burden of the lord thereafter again puthagathe we must look into the book of ezra ezra and nehemiah nehemiah and also zechariah zechariah puthagangalai nam vasikka vendum now we thank god நமக்கு நாம் தேவனுக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துவோம் for those things the lord has ministered to us தேவன் நம்மோடு கூட பேசிய அந்த காரியங்களுக்காக just a few reminders to us இப்பொழுது சில and then we will move on சில காரியங்களை மறுபடியும் சொல்லி விட்டு நாம் தொடர்ந்து book of ezra chapter 3 ezra 3rd அதிகாரத்திற்கு செல்வோம் the lord ministered to us very clearly some of these things are தெளிவாக பேசினார் very important for us இவைகள் நமக்கு மிக முக்கியமான காரியங்கள் in these present times இப்பொழுது நமக்கு இது முக்கியமான காரியங்கள் you know so i would like to bring to us the mind of god agave deva sindhai naan solugiren the thought of god devudaiya ninaivai solugiren the burden of the lord devudaiya bharathai solugiren and we see here a, you know the things that we read the background here is so prophetic about our times in which we are we saw that inda vaarthinudaiya pinnani namakku mega thirukathirukkana kaaryam aagum chapter 3 and verse 1 Israel when the seventh month was come the children of Israel were in the cities and the people gathered themselves to gather as one man to Jerusalem yela maadamana bodu janangal yegovu therukkilamile kudinargal ore manidanaga kudinargal which is the month of the feast of tabernacles adu yela maadam koodara pandigai maadam they came as one man avargal ore one man avargal ore manidanaga koodi vandargal verse 4 nala vasanam they kept also the feast of tabernacles koodara pandigai as it is written and offered daily burnt offerings by number according to the custom as a duty of every day required nithya neemathin padi paliyittargal you know and the lord made some things very clear to us sila karyangale devan namakku theliyai paduthinar that gathered as one man avargal ore manidanaga koodinargal you know and the lord laid this upon my heart en edhathe devan idai vaithu vaithar and i know it is the holy spirit leading and guiding us to that adarkaga aaviyanavar namai valinaduthukkarar endru theriyum the great need in these end times for the church to come as one man inda kadasi naalkalile sabai ore manidanaga koodi vara vendum engira thevai undu called out people must come into that oneness they need to be worked upon and they must come and god will bring in the seventh month in view of the feast of tabernacles god will bring a people into that one man 
a corporate man devudaiya janangalai devan ela madathile ore madathila kondu varuvaan kadanda varam nam anega karyangal kettom we heard that the fees of israel israel in pandigai had one significant element ore primary one, element ore oru mukkiyamana karyam adu that is the corporate life adu ore manidhanudaiya vaalkai aagum while they could kill a lamb and apply the blood on the door post while they were in egypt egyptile avargal irundha poludhu ore aattukutti adithu kadavulile poochinaargal you know when the lord established the fees anal pandigai devan sonna poludhu it is no more they remain in their houses but they came out avargal thangal veedile illai they were to now remember that as a feast corporately ipolude kootu manidhanaga adai nenivukku irundhu pandigiyaga anusiripadharku veliya vandha as a nation as a people ore desamaga ore janamaga the blood of the lamb they are now to have the feast it speaks about a corporate life adu oru kootu manidha vaalkai velippadhu so the main feature dominating the feast of israel is a corporate life agave inda pandigiyin mukkiya amsham enna vendal kootu manidha vaalkai of the people of god deva janangal ore manidhanaga the corporate life of the church sabai inda kootu manidha vaalkai aagum you know so this is very very significant and may god underline that upon our hearts again agave idu megavum mukkiyamana or kaaryam idai devanam irukkiradhu the primary element is the corporate life of the people of god agave deva janangaludaiya in these three festivals in the moonru pandigayile deva janangal ore kootu manidhanaga vandhadai nam paarkirom you know and we also heard that During these times they left their private lives and the nankalile sonda vaalkai vittu they ceased to live their own lives sangal sonda vaalkai vaalvadhu vittu detached their own lives from what it was eppadi irundhaargalo adai vittu their domestic lives their official lives sangaludaiya social lives sonda vaalkai samudaya vaalkai aluvulaga vaalkai things in their own circles in their own vaalkai in their own social culture and everything kalachara pinnani ellavatrayum vittu the department is abandoned and the pangu pangana karyangal nirthapettathu they come together appadi ore manidhanaga vandargal so this is very important agave idu miga oru mukkiyamana karyam and we heard to begin with aarambathil nam ketta how the feast of passover paskha pandigai is to be a corporate matter அது ஒரு கூட்டு மனித வாழ்க்கை an individual matter but it has to be a corporate matter how the blood of the lamb brings in that life to us எப்படி இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் ரத்தம் அந்த ஜீவனை நமக்கு கொண்டு வந்தது என்று பார்க்கிறோம் and how we are integrated into that life in an organic way எப்படி உயிரோட்டமாக நாம் ஒரே சரீரமாக கூட்டப்பட்டிருக்கிறோம் last week very clearly from god's word agave deva vasanathil rendu thelivai kettom that oneness can only come by the blood rathathin moolamagave anda orumai paadu varum it cannot come by doctrine adu upadesathin moolamaga varadu it cannot come by agreements adu oppudalin moolamaga varadu and we have seen through the history how varlaatrile doctrines of men could never bring unity manidarude upadesham orumai paattai kondu vara mudiyavillai endru nam paarkrom but god in fulfillment of the feast of tabernacles anal devan and the pandigai nerevedathile will gather together a people unto himself thanakendru or janangalai kooti varuvar as we heard last week what is on the horizon nammude thoduvanathil enna irukirathu endru kettom on the horizon of this people in the was the feast of tabernacles in the janangalude thoduvanathile kodaram pandigai the fulfillment of god's purpose adu devanudaiya thirumanathin nerevetram and therefore they could gather as one man agave avargal ore manidhanaga koodinaar the heart to obey the lord devanukku keelpadiya vendi idhu ondru irundhadu avargalukku we heard many precious things about the blood of christ yesu christuvin rathathai kurithu avaiya kaaryangalai kettom in a place of oneness ratthamanadu the blood that cleanses us nammai suthikarikkira andha ratham kaliviya ratham it is on the ground of that blood the church of god exists adanudaiya adipadayil dhaan yesu christuvin sabai nirkirathu hallelujah the power 
of that blood அந்த இரத்தத்தின் வல்லமையால் நிற்கிறது if the church சபையானது is to count if the church is to fulfill her vocation சபையானது தன் அழைப்பை நிறைவேற்ற வேண்டுமெனில் if she is to register her impact upon the principalities அந்த துரைத்தனங்களுக்கு மேலாக தாக்கத்தை கொண்டு வர வேண்டுமெனில் and world rulers இந்த அந்தகார லோகாதிபதிகளோடு கூட wickedness எல்லா விதமான வானசேனைகள் in accomplish her universal mission her predestined purpose அவளுக்கு நியமிக்கப்பட்ட அந்த லோகத்துக்கு வர வேண்டுமெனில் on the basis of this powerful and tremendous power that is in the blood of the lamb of god ஆட்டுக்குட்டியானவருடைய இரத்தத்தில் இருக்கிற அதீத வல்லமையின் மூலமாகவே இது முடியும் and as i said if that is true the church has no existence apart from the blood and therefore no vocation apart from the blood of the lamb of god ஆட்டுக்குட்டியான இரத்தம் இல்லாமல் சபை இல்லை சபைக்கு அழைப்பும் இல்லை we heard how we progressively we are to be sustained by the blood of the lamb எப்படி நாம் தொடர்ச்சியாக ஆட்டுக்குட்டியான இரத்தத்தின் மூலமாக தாங்கப்பட வேண்டும் as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of the lamb the blood of christ cleanses us அவர் வெளிச்சத்தில் இருக்கிறது போல fellowship and oneness in the blood கழுவி சுத்திகரிப்பார் என்று நாம் கேட்டோம் oh we thank god for all that we heard even the last week kalanda varam ketta ella karyangalukku the blood has to has got to become a recognized force and the ratham anadhu ariyapatta oru adhida vallamiyaga irukka vendum in our lives nammude vaalvile a recognized force in our lives nammude vaalvile ariyapatta vallamiyaga irukka vendum against the things எல்லா காரியங்களுக்கும் எதிராக எதை பயன்படுத்த விரும்புகிறானோ டு பிரேக் ஐக்கியத்தை உடைப்பதற்கு தேவ ஜனங்களோடு கூடவும் ஒருவரோடு கூட இருக்கிற ஐக்கியத்தை உடைப்பதற்கு அவன் கொண்டு வருகிற காரியங்களை ரத்தம் உடைக்கிறது it's not a matter of teaching agavedu upadeshathin it's a matter of a revelation upadeshathin kaaryam alla velippattu kaaryam it's a matter of an understanding by the spirit aavi moolamaga sure god will have something more to speak to us even today indrum kuda deva namakku adhiga kaaryangalai so as i said it's a matter of organic oneness agave uyirottamana orumai paadu dhan avashyam that god will work in us devan nammal kriye seidhu the blood of the lamb yesu christuvin ratham moolamaga kriye seigrar appadi patta oru uyirottamana orumai paadu avashyam from the very beginning aarambathil irundhu till the end kadaisi varai you know and i would like to say though we may hear many things in the course of our meditation nammudaiya dhyanathile anaiya karyangalai nam kettalum don't miss the burden of the holy spirit aavi avunde bharathe nam ilandu vidakoodadu the burden of the holy spirit is aavi avunde bharam that god will have a people who will be gathered together unto him as one man ore manithanaga koodiya oru janathai devan tanakkendru kondirpar enbadhu as one man ore manitha kootu manithanai devan kondirpar enbadhu and this is necessary idhu theviyana onru in order to move on into the fulfillment of god's purpose devanudaiya thirumanam niraiveruvatharku idhu avasiyamana onraagum if the house of god is to be built devanudaiya veedu kattapada vendum endral then there must be a coming together of god's people as one man deva janangal ore manithanaga koodi vada vendi avashyam undu if there is going to be a fulfillment of 
the feast of tabernacles kodara pandigayinudaiya nerevetram irukkum idil god would need a remnant company to come in adarkaga devan thanakkandu meendirukkira janangal avashyamaa irukkirathu so may god help us is my prayer agave devan namakku udhavi seiyattum and let us move on today indrum kuda nam thorandu dhyanikkalam as we heard the feast of israel இஸ்ரவேலினுடைய பண்டிகைகள் they speak about the corporate life of god's people தேவ ஜனங்களுடைய கூட்டு மனித வாழ்க்கையை வெளிப்படுத்துகிறது என்று நாம் கேட்டோம் now i just want us to turn to the book of leviticus இப்பொழுது லேவியராகமும் 23 23வது அதிகாரம் leviticus chapter 23 லேவியராகமும் 23வது அதிகாரம் Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 27 27th asanam Somebody please record I don't have any record in case there is any problem there Leviticus chapter 23 verse 27 Leviragamam 23 am adhigaram 27 am asanam Also on the 10th day of the 7th month 7th month 10th day There shall be a day of atonement paava nivarthi seiyum naalum It shall be an holy convocation unto you Sabai koodum parishuddha naaluma irpadaga And ye shall afflict your souls ungal aathmaakalai thaalmai padathi and offer an offering made by fire unto the lord kartharukku thagana bali selutha kadavirgal andha yela maadam 10th thedi ungalukku in the 7th day in the 7th month yela maadam you know is the feast of tabernacles kodara pandigayagum and the feast of tabernacles adile there are three other festivals or there are two more innum irandu pandigaigal undu the blowing of trumpets ekala satham tonikkum pandigai and the day of atonement and the feast of tabernacles paava nivarthi seiyum pandigai adarkapram kodara pandigai we see that in chapter 23 of leviticus leviram 23 le paarkiro in the seventh month and the first day of the month shall he have sabbath a memorial of blowing of trumpets yela madam mudalam thedi yela madam mudalam thedi ekala chathathal nyabagu kodi pandigai and then they have the second one that is on the 10th day Adarka of the 7th month is the day of atonement yela madam 10th thedi paava nivarthi seiyum pandigai and then the fifth day of the 7th shall be the feast of tabernacles adarkapramaga kodara pandigai 15th day the major feast and the third major feast which is the feast of tabernacle has got the blowing of trumpets their day of atonement and also the feast of tabernacles apriyaga yela madathile moonu pandigaigal ekkala pandigai paava nivarthi pandigai you know so on the 10th day of the 7th month which is in the 7th month in the month of the feast of tabernacles agave yela madam 10th day the day of atonement is on the 10th day பத்தாம் தேதி பாவ நிவர்த்தி செய்யும் பண்டிகையாகும் முழுமையான பாவ நிவர்த்தி செய்யும் நாளாகும் மனித குலத்திற்கு முழுவதுமாக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவானவர் முழுவதுமாக பாவ நிவர்த்தி செய்த காரியமாகும் அது நமக்கு தெரியும் நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே அந்த இரத்தத்தினுடைய பாவ நிவர்த்தி அனுபவித்திருக்கிறோம் பாவத்தினுடைய மன்னிப்பை நாம் பெற்றுக்கொண்டோம் our sins being cleansed and washed away nammude paavam kaluvapatti suthigirikkapattathu 
So we see individually and also in the historical church. Apni aga tani patte vada magavum varla atile sabeilum parikiru. But one thing is very clear. Anal oru kariyam thali vaagiri kirede. And one thing is very evident. Oru kariyam vali patti aga thiri kirede. Despite the fact that we have experienced the atoning blood in our lives. வல்லமையானாலும்ஸ் and the cross in our lives. Jesus Christ in his death and his full atonement will not be forgotten. And it is this experiential appropriation and it is this experiential appropriation of the atonement in the power of the atonement that the church must now enter into. Now the church of Jesus Christ will be forgotten. The church of Jesus Christ will be forgotten. has never entered into this idile innum praveshikave illai fulfillment of the day of atonement paava nivarthi naalinudaiya nerivukku the appropriation of the blood that was shed for the church sabaiki yesu christ sendhiya rathathinudaiya mulumiyana anda nivarthikku innum sabai praveshikave illai now this is something that we must understand indha or kaaryathai nam purindukolla vendum if we talk about oneness it can only come in by a real work of the blood of christ in our lives experientially apriyaga yesu christuvin ratham mulumiyaga nammile kriye seyum bolu mathrame andha orumai paadu varum in any other way vera endha valiyilum varadu as there is a historical pentecost varlaatri reethiyaga oru pentecost irundathu pole as well as an individual pentecost tanipatta oru pentecostayum irukirathu which we all have experienced adai ellam nam anubavithirukrom nammude vaalvile tanipatta vidhamaga even so there should be an atonement adai polave paava nivarthi naalum undu as part of the feast of tabernacles in the seventh month that we must come into yela maada maadathile andha pandigaiyude anubavathirkku nam varavendum பாவ நிவர்த்தி செய்யும் நாளின் பண்டிகையின் அனுபவத்திற்கு வர வேண்டும் தேவஜனங்களின் வரலாற்றை நாம் பார்க்கும் பொழுது ஜனங்கள் விசுவாசத்தினால் விடுதலையினுடைய சில அளவை அனுபவித்திருக்கிறார்கள் தங்களுடைய வாழ்விலே பட் ஆஸ் அ பாடி ஆஃப் பிலீவர்ஸ் ஆனால் ஒரு சரீரமாக ஒரு சபையாக as a corporate body or a kootu manidhanaga we have never done so so far ippolude varai nam minne idai anubavithadillai but church's deliverance from sin sabayanadhu paavathil irundhu vidudhalai seiyappattirukkirathu as a body is just ahead of us anal ore kootu manidhanaga innum varavendirukkirathu this is something that should register in us by the holy spirit indha oru karyam aavin moolamaga naam padiyirukkom not a vendum. mental understanding edho oru manadhin puridhal alla but the holy spirit must open our eyes to see anal aaviyana vandhu ariyavendum there is a corporate fulfillment oru kootu manidhanudaiya nireivu undu endru ariyavendum which we must come into in our lives nammude vaalkile naam idhile naam kadandu vara vendi irukkirathu the church's deliverance from sin as a body is just ahead of us sabayanadhu kootu manidhanaga andha paavathil mulindhu mulumiyaga veli vara vendiyadhu innum vara vendiya oru kaaryam adhu fulfillment of the great day of atonement adhu paava nivarthi seyum periya naalile varu feast of tabernacles adhu kodara pandigai something that the church must experience maadathile irukkirathu in these days indha naalkalile sabayanadhu adhai anubavikka vendum adhile kadandu vara vendum sin and carnality maamsamum paavamum maamsamum which we see in the church's long career 
சபையினுடைய வரலாற்றிலே காணப்படுகிறதை பார்க்கிறோம் மஸ் பி டேக்கன் அவே இப்பொழுது அது நிறுத்தப்பட வேண்டும் எடுக்கப்பட வேண்டும் in the long history of the church we see sabainudaya neenda varlaattile and carnality had its own place sabainudaya neenda varlaattile paavamu maamsathirkum idam irukkirathu ippozhudhu adilirundhu adu eduthu podapada vendum she must enter into the full potential of the blood of jesus christ that was shed once for all ore murai avulukkaga sindhapatta rendathinudey adhida vallamaiyile aval vara vendum அது ஏழாம் மாதத்தில் இருக்கிறது ஏசு கிறிஸ்துவனுடைய ரத்தத்தின் முழு அளவில் நாம் முதல் மாதத்தில் இருக்கிற பஸ்கா பண்டிகைக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துவோம் அதனுடைய விளைவிலே தேவன் நம்மை கடந்து சென்றார் அவர்களுடைய பாவத்தை நமக்கு செலுத்தாமல் in the words of the apostle paul for more than 2000 years anal apostle oh, richard man that i am in who shall deliver me from the body of this death in the paava sarirathil enna yaar vidudhai aakkuvar endru there has been a church for more than 2000 years sabayanade 2000 vandathirkku melaga thavithukondirukkiradai naan paarthu my brothers and sisters agave en deva janangale god will finally hear the cry of his people இறுதியாக தேவ ஜனங்களுடைய அழுகுரலை தேவன் கேட்கிறார் சீக்கிரமாகவே அந்த மகிமையின் விடுதலைக்கு தேவ ஜனங்களை கொண்டுவர் அவர்கள் பாவத்தில் இருந்தும் முழுமையாக விடுதலை அடைவார்கள் அந்த ரத்தத்திலே அதீத வல்லமை உண்டு we must recognize the force of that blood and the rathathinudaiya and the sakthiye nam arindu unara vendum against the things of darkness and the andhakara sakthigalukku edhiragavum that comes up against life jeevanukku edhiraga varigira everything that contributes towards life and the jeevanukku edhu udavi seigiradho adarkku edhiraga varigira kaaryangalai ellam ratham rathathin vallamai and i want to say my brothers and sisters who are listening today ஆகவே தேவ ஜனங்கள் தனிப்பட்ட விதமாகவும் கூட்டு மனிதனாகவும் நாம் வருவோம் கூடார பண்டிகையை தொடுவானத்தில் வைத்து நாம் வாழும் பொழுது it is god's promise அது தேவனுடைய வாக்கு தத்துவம் that we will come into that நாம் அதிலே வருவோம் என்பது we will experience the day of atonement the full atonement nam and the blood of the lamb yesu christ in rathathin moolamaga paava nivirthin mulumiyana and anubhavathai nam adaiyum on the horizon of our lives today indre nammude vaalkaiyil idu thoduvanathile or nambikkaiyaga kaanapadavendum the days of israel in the times of ezra and hagai eppadi agaiyin naalkalile kaanapattadho appadi as we heard from the book of revelation chapter 12 velipadathil vishesham 12th adhigaram you know how important it is that God must have a people as one man that's the only way the temple can be brought into completion and the veedanadu mulumiyaga katti mudikapada vendum endral devarude janangal ore manithanaga varavendum chapter 12 and that scripture which we read velipadathina vishesham 12th adhigaram oru and the vasanathai nam vaasithom verse 11 chapter 12 and verse 11 padhara vasanam sorry uh, yes and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death maranam nedigira irundalum adarku thappumbadi thangal jeevanaiyum paaramal aattukutti endra thathinalum the revised version says and they overcame him because of the blood of the lamb aattukutti endra thathinal avane jeithargal they overcame him 
because of the blood of the lamb and because of the word of their testimony ஆட்டுக்குட்டி என்ற தத்தினாலும் தங்கள் சாட்சியின் வசனத்தினாலும் அவனை ஜெயித்தான் even unto death that's what the revised version says maranam neridugirundha neridugirundha irundha agave of that word sums up everything else and that is because of the blood aattukutti en rathathinal endra artham agum so here we find the triumph and the victory finally agave inge nam oru kadaisil jeyathai paarkirom the blood of the lamb ஆட்டுக்குட்டியானவருடைய இரத்தத்தினுடைய ஜெயத்தை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் நமக்கு தெரிந்தது போல தனிப்பட்டு அதற்காக நாம் பார்க்கலாம் and uh, chapter 12 i would like to read some verses to bring us to that understanding adai purivadharku 12th adhigaram and she being with a child with child cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered aval karpavathi ayirundhi there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a red dragon a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns seven crowns upon his heads and his tail drew third part of the stars of heaven and it cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered to for to devour her child as soon as it was born and the karpa and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and a child was caught up unto god and to his throne all right so here we talk about read about travail inge naam and a woman with a child prasava vedane padikira oru deliver but a dragon standing to devour this child that is being brought forth in great travail இங்கு ஒரு கற்பவதி பிள்ளை பெறுகிறாள் பிள்ளை பெறும் பொழுது அதை பட்சித்து போட அந்த பிள்ளையை பட்சித்து போட அந்த வலுச்சிறப்பம் நின்றது அவள் பிள்ளையை பெற்றாள் இறுதியாக அவள் அந்த ஆண் பிள்ளையை பெற்றாள் அது சகல ஜாதியான அவருடைய பிள்ளை தேவனிடத்திற்கும் இந்த பிள்ளை எடுத்து இந்த பிள்ளை எடுத்து கொள்ளப்பட்டது and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of god that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days they should feed her அவர்கள் போசி அவளை போசிக்கும் படியாக you know and there was war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels and prevail not neither was their place found any more in heaven and the dragon was cast out the old serpent called the devil and satan which deceiveth the the whole world he was cast in uh, out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is the salvation and strength and the kingdom of our god and the power of his christ for the accuser of the brethren is cast down which accused them before our god day and night and they overcame avargal jayam kondargal so we would like to say agave nam solugirom the man child is the they aan pillai enbadu corporate company of people and the aan pillai avargal endru sollapadigirathu adu kootu manidhan aagum they overcame avargal jeyam kondargal you know so we see they were caught up to avargal god and to his throne avargal devudaiya devudathirkum singhasanathirkum eduthu kollapattargal so we see here a travail agave inge oru prasava vedanai for a man child or aan pillai kaga irukiradai paarkirom 
And I would like to gather several things which I feel would represent the significance of this statement. And I would pray that God would open our eyes of understanding as we keep our hearts open about it. What we need is not a mental understanding but what we need is spiritual apprehension a spiritual hearing and understanding. It is important for us to know that the man child here in this chapter represents a company. In the aunt pilla in bade, or a good to Madana Kurikra in Bari Vendum. One man, or a Madidan, a corporate company, or a good to Madidan, one man, or a Madidan, at the end times. In the Kadesi Kalangalile, it speaks about. A corporate company of people in these end times. In the Kalangale, or a Kutuman is the Janangal in a peculiar way, or a Visayatavalile stand in the fullness of the virtue and the power of the blood of the Lamb. Atakutiana, the Retetinudia, Valamila, Lirin, the Purapodigra, and the Janangale Kurikan, and the Ore Madan Apati Varigar. May God help us to know that. This one man is not a matter of. In the Ore Madidan and Bade Doctrine Ubade Satin Kariamala. This one man is not a matter of associations. The Ore Madidan Yeda or a Kulu Allah. This one man is not a matter of some agreements among people. The Ore Madidan Janangal in Matil Kanabadi Upudal Allah. But this one man is a matter of an organic. Union and oneness brought about by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. In the fulfillment of the Day of Atonement. As we have often said in the past. And we have heard many times from this place. The man child speaks about that people, that corporate company, that one man, that God in a special way is seeking to secure for himself. In the midst of many things happening in the spiritual world today, in the church today, I want to say this, God is seeking to secure a people for himself. That the fulfillment of those things he has purposed in his son may be fulfilled. He is peculiarly and particularly concerned to bring into being our people as one man. Humanly impossible. Every effort of man has failed. But God will do this. And we know that. Symbolically. In the days of Ezra. They gathered us one man. That was the beginning. So it is a company of people. Called into a peculiar relationship. With the Lord Himself. A peculiar relationship. With the Lord Himself. For the fulfillment of a priestly ministry. In relation to the universal kingdom of God. And His Christ. And His anointing. 
So may this really sink into our spirit. Let this register in us. We talk about the Feast of Tabernacles. We talk about God's end purposes. If these things are to come into fulfillment, my brothers and sisters, listen carefully. The Day of Atonement will have to be a reality. The church has to come into the full potential of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the only way we can come into that oneness. And I tend to go fast. So may God help us. It's a great need for this to sink into our spirit. This particular company of people, this man child company, this one man, this true remnant of God is in the purpose of God. And they must be brought into that special in that special way into that relationship with him. Only that way there can be a fulfillment of a priestly ministry in relation to God's universal kingdom. The universal kingdom of God and his Christ as we read. A priestly ministry in relation to the kingdom and the throne. The universal sovereignty of the Lord Jesus in relation to his kingdom. God must have an administrative instrument in heaven to rule with him from heaven. A people who will be with him in the whole range of his dominion over the universe. You know, now these may sound very high sounding words but that is what God's word says he did not save us according to our ways he did not ask us when he planned it all out for man he purposed it all in himself who are you man to ask him He saved you and called you not according to your works but according to his own purpose and grace which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Oh my God so what is the burden of the spirit this morning is to convey to us that we must live with this feast of tabernacles on our horizon. The whole purpose of God on our horizon. And God is calling his people as one man to gather together unto him in this hour. And that oneness cannot come about by human agreements. We heard the feast of tab all the feasts talk about the corporate life. Not just individual. And as we heard, the feast of tabernacles. Historically, we have now come into it yet. May God help us. Is my prayer as we heard, they overcame him. And who are they? Man child. That was birthed through a great travail. Birthed through a great travail. And I just want to bring that about 
as the lord has helped me to see it ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய கற்ப வேதனையால் பிறப்பிக்கப்பட்டவர்கள் இதை நான் உங்களுக்கு சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன் i would like to illustrate this இதை நான் விளக்க விரும்புகிறேன் a little from the book of first samuel but remember let's not shift from our burden there are some things we would see here இங்க இருக்கிற பாரத்தை நான் விளக்க வேண்டாம் which is related to that oneness one which will come about by the blood which again in fulfillment of the feast of tabernacle so we have to see it in the right light agave and god may grant us the revelation the understanding by the holy spirit one samuel irundhu oru kaaryathai solla pogiren when we turn to the book of first samuel one samuel nam paartha kaaryangalai ellam idile nam torarbu padithi paarkrom agave endha bharathai ilakka vendam and uh, chapter 1 you know that where we read about samuel inga naam samuel ai kurithu naam vaasikkirom you know and you remember we have no time to you know read all the scriptures and bring in all the backgrounds you know those of us who are not well versed i would requ- request you to uh, turn to the book of first samuel and go through it and see it for yourself agave onnu samuel pinnani theriyadavargal adai neengal vaasithu porindukollungal you know you will remember that the birth of samuel was impossible for you know it was not impossible of any human realization and the samuel ude perappanadu manidanudeya moolai ki ettada oru kaaryam it was impossible by man manidanal oru koodada kaaryamaga irundathu it was not possible in an ordinary way oru sadharana valiyile adu koodada karyamaga irundathu it was not in, it was not possible in line with nature and the subhavathin padi adu mudiyada karyam there was no way oru valiyum illai அப்படி பிறப்பிக்கப்பட ஒரு வழியும் இல்லாதிருந்தது அவளுக்கு சாதாரண வழியிலே பிறப்பிக்க வழி இல்லாதேஷன் நம்முடைய புத்திக்கு எட்டாதது ஆனால் நமக்கு தெரியும் ஆனால் entered into a spiritual travail concerning samuel samuel ile kurithu aavikuriya oru prasava vedanile pravesithal so that's what we read in the scriptures idai thaan nam vedathil vaasikkirom there was a travail in the heart of this woman in the sthriyinudaiya hridayathile oru prasava vedanai and she travail in the house of god deva veetile aval of the lord deva veetile aval kadarinal and while in that spiritual travail apidipatta aavikuriya prasava vedanai while she was before the lord devanukku munbaga aval irundha poludhu in strong crying and tears aval migunda kannirode velippadinal thavipode velippadinal for this man child indha oru aan pillaikaga she was misunderstood aval thavaraga purindukollapattal she was misunderstood by the priest him her, himself aasariyanal aval thavara purindukollapattal and melum elkana elkana her another wife she had many children peninalukku anega pillaigal irundargal and she laughed at her aval annalai nagaithal she was a bad enandal aval maladiya irundal and we know that there was a travail in hana anna vile oru prasava vedane வழி இருந்தது என்று நமக்கு தெரியும் 
while others looked at her and sneered at her and and looked down upon her மற்றவர்கள் எல்லாரும் அவளை கீழ்த்தரமாக பார்த்தார்கள் ஏலனமாக பார்த்தார்கள் and the religious leadership even misunderstood her அங்க இருந்த தலைவர்கள் கூட அவளை தவறாக புரிந்துகொண்டார்கள் we know that hannah was in deep travail இருந்தாலும் அவள் மிக ஆழமான ஒரு வலியிலே வேதனையிலே காணப்பட்டாள் ஒரு ஆண் பிள்ளைக்காக மிக ஆழமான வேதனையில் காணப்பட்டாள் while other women had children innoru sirike pillaigal irundalum or elkana's other wife had many children elkana vin innoru manaviki anega pillaigal irundalum anna had none anna alukku onrume illai she was despised aval avamadikkapattal and so we see that the travail resulted in a special intervention and act of god apidipatta or and thavipanadu devanudaiya visheshitha or thodudalai undu pannirukku you know so the travail is very important ipolu and thavippu miga mukkiyamagavum and the vali mukkiyamagavum then there was a divine special intervention and act of god adarkapramaga devanudaiya deiviga karam angu kanapattadai paarkirom that spiritual travail was answered avanudaiya aavikuriya prasava vedane pallalikkapattadu samuel was born samuel prandan remember samuel was not born was not born in an ordinary natural way samuel oru sadharana valiyile pirakkavillai endradai neengal purindukolla vendum but he was born by a divine intervention and act of god when a woman began to travail ஒரு சிறியானவள் கற்ப வேதனையிலே காணப்படும் பொழுது தேவன் தெய்வீக வித் ஸ்ட்ராங் கிரைங் அண்ட் டியர்ஸ் தெய்வீக ரீதியாக செயல்பட்டு தேவனுடைய கரம் அங்கு வந்தபடியால் தேவனுடைய செயலாக இருந்தது of what we read in revelation 12 இதை தான் நாம் வெளிப்படுத்தும் விஷயம் 12 லே வாசிக்கிறோம் ஹalleluya that travail in the spirit was answered and the avinudey tarip was badalikapattathu on one hand oru pakkathile he was born out of travail adu tarippinaale pirandathu travail in her own soul thanudey aathmaavile megapriya vedane and the other on the other hand unnoru pakkathile he was born out of a direct act of god devanudey நேரடியான செயல்பாட்டினால் பிறந்தது divine intervention and act of god தேவனுடைய தெய்வீக இடைப்படுதல் தேவனுடைய நேரடியான செயல்பாடு in her soul with tears அவள் தன் ஆத்மாவிலே வேதனைப்பட்டு கண்ணீரோடு இருந்த பொழுது தேவன் நேரடியாக செயல்பட்ட விளைவாகும் சாமுவேல் பிறந்ததாகும் when man was helpless மனிதன் உதவியற்ற நிலையில் இருந்த பொழுது and the nature was important மேலும் அந்த சுபாவமும் எந்த ஒரு வழியை உண்டாக்காது இருந்த பொழுது தேவன் இடைப்பட்டார் பட் தேர் வாஸ் த பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ ட்ரவேலிங் ஆனால் அந்த தவிப்பு காணப்பட்டதின் விளைவாகும் அது கண்ணீரோடு சோ தட்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் as we look at the book of revelation chapter 12 also வெளிப்படுத்த the same thing பனிரண்டிலே இதை தான் நாம் இதே காரியத்தை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் அந்த ஸ்திரி கற்ப வயதனை அடைந்தாள் இன்னும் சில காரியங்களை தேவன் பார்க்க எனக்கு உதவி செய்தார் இங்கு நாம் பதினெட்டாம் வசனத்திலே வாசிக்கிறோம் ஒன்னு சாமுவல் ரெண்டு பதினெட்டு பதினெட்டாம் வசனம் சாப்டர் டூ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சாமுவல் சாப்டர் டூ வேர்ஸ் எயிட்டீன் ஒன்னு சாமுவேல் ரெண்டாம் சாமுவல் மினிஸ்டர்ட் பிஃபோர் த லார்ட் பீங் அ சைல்ட் 
சாமுவேல் வித் a linen effort சாமுவேல் என்ன பிள்ளையாண்டான் சனநூல் ஏபோதை தரித்தவனாய் கத்தருக்கு முன்பாக பணிவிடை செய்தான் the lord being a child girded with a linen effort அவன் சனநூல் ஏபோதை தரித்தவனாய் கத்தருக்கு முன்பாக பணிவிடை செய்தான் which is not the common order இது ஒரு பொதுவான கிரமம் அல்ல A child cannot minister to God wearing a linen effort. ஒரு பிள்ளை ஏபோதை தரித்து தேவனுக்கு பணிவிடை செய்ய முடியாது. சனநூல் ஏபோதை தரித்து. Being a child he was wearing a linen effort which is a priestly garment. அது ஒரு ஆசாரிய உடமையாக இருந்தது. சாமுவேல் என்னும் பிள்ளையாண்டான் அதை தரித்திருந்தான். Oh that's one thing I want to bring to our notice again. இந்த ஒரு காரியத்தை நான் உங்களுக்கு உணர்த்த விரும்புகிறேன். So we see இங்க நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் that right from his birth அவருடைய பிறப்பின் ஆரம்பத்திலிருந்து his infancy அவருடைய பிள்ளை பருவத்தில் without a lapse of years எந்த ஒரு வருடமும் விடுவிக்காமல் he came into the office of a priest. அவர் அந்த தீர்க்கதரிசி என்கிற அந்த இடத்திற்கு வந்தார். அதிகாரத்தை and her child was caught up unto god and to his throne ainda vasanam avarude pillai devaranathirkum avarude singhasanathirkum eduthukollapattathu a child wearing a ford ministering to god sanal nol yebode tarithu oru pillai andan devanukku uliyam seigiran so we see in the life of samuel soon after he you know he was given to the to the house of god samuel, without lapse of years he came into a priestly office samuel devanukkandu porthil seyappatta piragu avan varadangal virindikkamal aalayathukku vandaan that was not the ordinary way idu oru idu oru poduvana vali alla endru namakku theriyum remember samuel was designed for that சாமுவேல் அதற்காகவே உண்டாக்கப்பட்டான் அதற்காகவே அவன் பிறப்பிக்கப்பட்டான் அதற்காகத்தான் இருந்தது Now these are very significant things. இவைகள் மிக முக்கியமான காரியம். Prophetically திருக்கதரிசி மாதா the church of Jesus Christ. இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் சபைக்கு In the light of what we see in Revelation chapter 12. வெளிப்படுத்தும் விஷயம் 12 இன் வெளிச்சத்திலே Soon after the child was born the child was caught up to the throne. ஆண் பிள்ளை பிறந்த உடனே அந்த பிள்ளை சிங்காசனத்துக்கு எடுத்துக் கொள்ளப்பட்டது. In the light of Samuel's life. சாமுவேலுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் வெளிச்சத்தில் பார்த்தார். அதற்காகவே அவன் உண்டாக்கப்பட்டான் ஒரு பிள்ளையாண்டனாக சனநூல் ஏபோத்தை தரித்தான் தேவனுக்கு என்று பணிவிடை செய்தான் அவன் அதற்காக உண்டாக்கப்பட்டான் அதற்காக அவன் பிறப்பிக்கப்பட்டான் அதற்காகவே அந்த பிரசவ வேதனை காணப்பட்டது இன்னும் சில காரியங்கள் We notice in the words of Hannah here. இங்கு அன்னாளினுடைய வார்த்தையை நீங்கள் பாருங்கள். Let me take you to verse chapter 1. 1 1 Samuel 2nd அதிகாரம். Verse 22. 22. Uh, 1 Samuel 1nd அதிகாரம். In verse 22 to, to, to save time but Hannah went not up. அன்னாள் கூட போகவில்லை. For she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned pillai pal marand and then i will bring him and he may appear before the lord pillai pal marand pinbu avan kartha sanil kaanapadavar varaiyile naan ingidan irpen until the child is weaned 
பிள்ளை பால் மறந்து பால் மறக்கும் வரையிலே she she said she will not go to the house of god நான் இங்கே இருப்பேன் தேவ வீட்டுக்கு செல்ல மாட்டேன் ஆகவே என்ன சொல்கிறேன் she must wean the child as early as possible எவ்வளவு சீக்கிரமாக பாலை பிள்ளையை பால் மறக்க பண்ண வேண்டுமோ அவ்வளவு சீக்கிரமாக செய்தால் i must wean the child naan pillaye paal marakka seiyavendum until it's done i will not go adu varaiyile naan veetile irpen deva vittil of the soul again verse 24 and when she had weaned him aval avanai paal marakka panina pinbu you know so we see that very clearly agave telivaga paathu whereas when we read about sarah you know weaning isaac it says when the child was weaned talking about it took its own course ana saral isaac ay pal marakka panirum bolude neram eduthu its own time when it comes to isaac anal when it when it comes to samuel samuel porta varai illa and did it as quickly as possible aval evlo sikramaga seiya mudindatho avlo sikramai seidal as quickly as she could aval seiya mudinda varil sikramai seidha that was her priority until the child be weaned i will not go pillai marakka paal maranda varaiyile naan poga maten endru sonnal tanakkulle thirumanam pannindal she quickly did aval viraivai seidal it did not take its own course as in the case of isaac isaac ke porta varaiyile adhiga neram eduthathu apdiyaga inge illai she did it on top priority in order to get him into his ministry தன்னுடைய அந்த ஊழியத்திற்கு கொண்டு வரும்படியாக விரைவாக அதை செய்து முடித்தார் அவனுக்கு தேவன் வைத்திருக்கிற அந்த விசேஷத்தை இடத்தில் கொண்டு வரும்படியாக விரைவாக அதை செய்து முடித்தால் தேவன் அவனை எவ்வளவு சீக்கிரமாக விரும்புகிறார் என்பதை அறிந்து கொண்டு அதை செய்தார் so we see that samuel's life agave samuel's life was marked from the beginning aarambathilirundhe adayalapadathapattirundhathu by this special ministry and the visheshita uliyathai konde priestly ministry to begin with and the aasariya uliyathai aarambathile kondirundhathu it was in relation to the throne and the kingdom adu and the singhasanam rajyathai kurikirathu and look at you know what happened later on adarkapramaga nadantha kaariye paarigathe paarungal she went into the house of god aval deva veetrukku sendral and these are the words that is she says from verse 26 onwards for want of time 26 lerndu vaasikrom and she said oh my lord in andavare as thy soul liveth my lord i am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the lord umakkaga for this child i prayed and the lord had given me my petition which i asked of him in the pillai vinnappam pannin naan petru konden therefore also i have lent him to the lord as long as he liveth he shall be lent to the lord and he worshiped the lord there agave avan uyirod irkum sagala naalum avane kartharukkendre oppukodukiren endra prayed and said my heart rejoices in the lord my horn is exalted in the lord my mouth is enlarged over my enemies en irudhayam kartharkul kaligurugirathu en kombu kartharkul uyirndirukirathu that was anna oru arumiyana paadal there is none holy as the lord for there is none beside thee kartharai pola parichitha illai there is there any rock like our god ummai illamal vera oru oru illai talk no more so exceeding proudly Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth for the Lord is a god of knowledge and by him actions are weighed The bows of the mighty men are broken and they that stumble are girded with strength they that they that are full have hired out themselves for bread and they that were hungry ceased so that the baron had born seven and she had many children is waxed feeble the lord killeth and make her alive he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up 
The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes. Hallelujah. And to make them inherit the throne. Is it not talking about the man child? This poor woman, from where did she get all this? He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among the princes to make them inherit the throne of glory. And he has set the world upon them. She spoke of the glory. You know one thing? You know the background? The background is the and glory the had already departed. The glory is about to depart. The glory was waning away. God and stopped the, speaking. And the, and the the glory had already in one measure departed. The Those who will inherit the throne. And the you know, when you look at Samuel's life, he was the king anointed. Samuel brought the great king. His priestly ministry was in relation to the kingdom. So, what I would like to say here is, my brothers and sisters, we need to understand the typology in that one man or the man child. We have often seen in the Bible, a woman in the Bible represent the spiritual principles. Hannah represents the spiritual law of travail. Unto the specific purpose of God. Hallelujah. So when we bring this to the book of Revelation and chapter 12. We see there the woman into whom there enters a spirit of travail. A spirit of travail comes into her. And that spirit of travail is to bring forth a specific company of people. That one man. This remnant company. The man child. Born out of that spiritual travail. Or born out of that spirit of travail. That crying out spirit. Hallelujah. You want to see a little more about that spirit? Turn with me. To the book of Romans. <coughs> 
For we know that the whole creation, verse 22, groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves. Brothers and sisters, more than a scripture that we admire and appreciate, the spirit of travail must enter into a remnant of God in this hour. Hallelujah. I don't know how to express this burden. The spirit of travail in the must pres- enter into a people in this hour. In the in the Deva Janangal Kulaga in the Presava Vedra in Avi Nulaya Vendum. It's not a matter of I know the scripture. In the Veda Manaka Terium and Ran Bhagavad. It has always encouraged me. It's, it's a, a tremendous word there. In the Navarthi and a Pidikim and Badala. As we see in Revelation twelve. The spirit of travail entered into the woman. And there she began. The travail within her. A groaning within her. Waiting. For that. Great deliverance. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves. Waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope. But, by, but hope that is seen is not hope. What a man seeth, why doth he wait yet hope for? It goes on. But I would like to say here. This travail must enter into a company of people in this hour. That crying out spirit. That groaning spirit. And the Avi and the Avi for a bringing forth of that life and the Jeevan Mulumiaga fullness and the Jeevan Mulumiaga Velipada Vendum and get over Tavipin Avi Namakulaka Kanapada Vendum. And remember, one of the Gulangal against that cry and the Tavipu Kedra, there is a resistance. What is the other period? Hallelujah. As we saw from the life of Samuel, Samuel though he was just a child, he was caught up to minister unto God. The man child is caught up to the throne. And the singer said that he had to call up today. To rule the nations with a rod of iron. And the Sakala Jadigalam Irupu Kola Alge say. And we see how clearly it is pictured in Samuel. Samuel is a very good thing. Ministering to the Lord. Kartar Kandre Panivade say. Which is not the normal. Adur Puduana Valiella. But he was designed for that. He was for that. God's divine act was for that. He was born for that. Hallelujah. Remember the man child has a very important role. And God intervenes and it's an act of God to raise them up for himself. அப்படியாக இந்த ஆண்பில்லை என்பது 
Hallelujah. May God help us. Devanam ko devi sahi tu. And how clearly Hannah prophesied about it. Yede kurte anna levelo theli baga tirka darshan vale tiri kara endu parangal. To make them inherit the throne. சிங்காசனத்தை சோந்தரிக்க பண்ணுவார் of glory அந்த மகிமையின் சிங்காசனத்தை சோந்தரிக்க பண்ணுவார் but as i said ஆகவே நான் சொன்னது போல against that company அவர்களுக்கு எதிராக the adversary is set சத்ரு இருக்கிறான் he is deadly set against that company அவர்களுக்கு எதிராக மிக எதிராக அவர் நிற்கிறான் flip to that play page again மறுபடியும் வாங்க you know being with child cried travailing in birth aval prasava vedanal alarinal a crying woman apidipatta oru sri a crying woman apidipatta alarigira sri a groaning woman tavithu kondirukkira oru sri in anguish and in pain tavippinalum valiyinalum alarikondirukkira sri travail migapiriya vedanayodu kaanapadukkira sri to bring forth பிள்ளையை பெற வேண்டும் என்கிற அந்த வழியோடு கூட அவருடைய பிள்ளையை பெற்ற உடனே பட்சித்து போடும்படி வலு சிறப்பம் அவளுக்கு முன்பாக நின்றது what is specifically today to all of us ellorkum na idai kurippaga solla virumbugiren there is an adversary standing right there ange oru edhiri nirkiran that company andha idathil thane oru edhiri nirkiradai nam paarkirom andha janangalukku ediraga nirkira edhiriyai paarkirom andha janangalukku ediraga nirkira edhiriyai paarkirom he stands out there to resist avan edirpadarkaga nirkiran he stands out there to somehow oppose epidiyagavo taduthu nirthi vidan nirkiran i like to turn us to another scripture unnor veda pagudi which will be relevant idoda thodangu padutha the book of zechariah Sagaria The scripture again we know Nam arinda veda pagudhi dhan Sagaria chapter 3 Sagaria 3rd adhigaram Sagaria chapter 3 Sagaria 3rd adhigaram Here we see again another historic setting Inge oru varalaatru nigalve nam paarkirom Let me read these verses Andha vasanangalai vaasikiren and he showed me joshua the the high priest standing before the angel of the lord pradhan aasana yeshua enna kandita standing at his right hand to resist him satan avanukku edhiralam cheya avanukku valadhu pakkathile nindran right valadhu pakkathile So Joshua was the high priest in those times. ஆகவே யோசுவா அந்த நாட்களில் பிரதான ஆசாரியாக இருந்தான். And he is the embodiment. அவன்தான் அந்த முழு தரிசனத்துக்கு of the priestly ministry of all Israel. எல்லா இஸ்ரவேலருக்கும் பிரதிநிதித்துவமாக அங்கு காணப்படுகிறான். A people who are called to be a kingdom of priests unto God. தேவனுக்கு என்று அந்த ராஜாக்களாக அழைக்கப்பட்ட ஜனங்களுக்காக அவன் பிரதிநிதித்துவமாக நிற்கிறான். The high priest gathers everything in himself as a nation. ஒரு தேசமாக அந்த பிரதான ஆசிரியர்கள் தனக்குள்ளாக எல்லாவற்றையும் கொண்டிருக்கிறான் எல்லாரையும் எடுத்துக்கிறான். Joshua is seen as a figurehead. ஆகவே இங்கு ஒரு உருவகமாக பார்க்கிறோம். In relation to the kingdom. அந்த ராஜ்யத்திற்கு நேராக இதை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம். The priest to the priestly ministry. அந்த ஆசிரியத்துவ ஊழியம் the priestly vocation. அந்த அவருடைய அழைப்பு. The priestly calling of God's people. தேவனுடைய 
ஜனங்களுடைய அழைப்பு has been in a sorry state அது ஒரு மோசமான நிலையில் காணப்பட்டது in the days of zachariah zachariah in alkalile as we read here inga nam vaasikkiradhu pole and the lord said unto satan satanukku devan sonna the lord rebuked the oh satan even the lord that hath chosen jerusalem rebuke thee is not this a brand plucked out of the fire Yerusalem is turned to God's cathar when he came to Golwa. The reason why yeah. Satan was standing at his right hand. Yen Satan was the person who was clothed with filthy garments Yen and Ram stood before the angel. Yesu aluk vasrangalai tarith kaana padigiran agave Satan avanu kedraga nirkiran. And that was the reason. Adhu dan kaaranam. As I said, naan thonna the pole. Everything was in a sorry state. Yella kariyengalum oru mosa mana nille meli rendadi. In the days of Sakaraya. Sakaraya vin naat kali le. Joshua was clothed in filthy garments. Joshua aluk vasrathai tarithi kana patan. The condition of things were bad. Angge kana patta kariyengal mega mosa mai rendadi. And Satan, the adversary, is therefore st- seen standing at the right hand. Agave, Avan, Valle de Pagat, till Nirkara Vana ka kaanam pani gran. As his adversary. Or yedri aga, virodan chegra Vana ka Nirkara. You know the right hand, Valle de Pagam, is a place of power. Adhe Valle mein irathe kuri kira de. and satan is in the place of power ange satan vallame nadathil irukirade paarkirom because of the filthy garments yenendal ange aluthu aluku vastrathinal adu nadandathu and accuses joshua before god devanukku munbaga yosuvave avan kutram kutra paduthi pesugiran and so one thing i want to say before i close today indru naan nerivukku munru ondru solugiren The time has gone by there are several more many more things to share with us namakku inna manaiya karyangal undu anal neram poi kondirukirathu Satan is seen in the place of power Satan anga vallame nadathil kaanapadigiran accuser of that which is meant to fulfill this priestly ministry and the aasariya uliyathe neraveettukiravanai kutrapaduthukiran kutrapaduthukiravanaga nikkiran the accuser standing right there ange virodham seigiravan kutrapaduthigiravan ange nirkiran and i would like to say here inga naan solla virumbugiren and they overcame him avargal avane jeithargal by the blood of the lamb aattu kutti endra thettinal I want to say here this. Aga vengi naan solla virumbugiren. Whatever the accusation of the enemy may be. Enemy enudaiya endha oru kutramaga irundhalum seri. As we see here in verse 4 and he answered and spake unto them that stood before it, take away the filthy garments from him. Unto him he said behold I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee and I will clothe thee with the change of raiment. நான் உன் அக்கிரமத்தை உன்னத்தில் நீங்க செய்து உனக்கு சிறந்த வஸ்திரங்களை தரிப்பித்தேன் என்றார் இவன் மேல் இருக்கிற அழுக்கு வஸ்திரங்களை கலைந்து போடுங்கள் என்றார் தேவன் ஒரு கிரியை செய்வார் ஆகவே அவிசுவாசம் நம்மை மேற்கொள்ள வேண்டாம் It's my prayer God will open our eyes of understanding நம்முடைய புரிதலின் கண்களை திறக்க தேவன் உதவி செய்யட்டும் and they gathered as one man அவர்கள் ஒரே மனிதனாக கூடினார்கள் the 7th month ஏழாம் மாதத்திலே that's a secret brothers and sisters அதுதான் ரகசியம் என் தேவ ஜனங்களே and this one man is not something in the effort of man அது மனிதனுடைய விளைவினால் அல்ல but it's going to be the work of the holy spirit அது பரிசுத்த ஆவியின் கிரியை ஆகும் the blood of jesus christ இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் ரத்தம் will bring about a company to that place of victory அந்த வெற்றி நிறத்திற்கு ஒரு தேவ ஜனங்களை கூட்டி வர போகிறது 
அவர்கள் அறிந்து கொள்வார்கள் எதிராக இருக்கிற ரத்தத்தின் வல்லமையை உணர்ந்து கொள்வார்கள் they overcame because of the blood avargal rathathinal jeithar because of the word of their testimony saatchin vasanathinal merkondargal so be encouraged agave uthaga padungal bala padungal know that arindu kollungal it's that blood that cleanses me and ratham dhan ennai kaluvugirathu it is that blood where i have life அங்கு ரத்தத்தில் தான் ஜீவன் இருக்கிறது ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் அவர் தான் தேவனுடைய விளையாடுகிறார் தேவனுடைய அதீத வல்லமைக்கு So I want to encourage you brothers and sisters live with the uh, with the feast of tabernacle on the, your horizon agave ungalude toduvanathile andha yela maadathin pandigaiyai vaithu vaalungal one man ore manidan it's going to be a travail of a remnant of god adhu deva janangaludeya full expression prathama vedanil varigirathu of the son which is promised for us namakkaga in this end times namakkaga vaakuthatham pannapatta andha aadhi into the feast of tabernacles corporately it is the need of god idhu devunudaiya thevai aagirathu koodara pandigai nerivu devunudaiya thevai aagum you know but the spirit of travail must enter into us anal aavinudaiya prasava vedhai namakkulaga praveshikka vendum hallelujah the adversary stands there angu virodhi irukkiran but anal god will give the strength devan balathe tharuvar his church his remnant to stand up against this adversary and we will see that god willing next week devan god will empower vallame tharuvar the church of jesus christ yesu christuvin sabai to rise up against avanukku edhiraga merkollum this dragon in the valusarpathai this powers of darkness in the andhakara sakthi overcame him by the blood yesu christuvin rathathinal amen there's a tremendous power there ange megapariya vallame irukirathu we still not realized not utilized innum uvegapadathukkoda appreciated yet innum varamal irukirathu into that yet experientially innum oru anubhavathile varavendiyad irukirathu of jesus christ will come into that yesu christuvin sabai adile varum to the very throne even being a child aanpilliyaga irundhalum was born for that amen adarkaga pirathikkapatta edathile adu samuel was born for that samuel adarkaga pirandhan even so இப்பொழுதும் will be the the man child in the book of revelation and the velipattu vishayathil irukkira aan pillayum apdi than to the very throne and the poor woman like hana could see by the spirit and the eliya seriyanaval aavin moolamaga idai paarkka mudiyathu and the lord devanukku endra aval paadal paadina open therefore our eyes even today agave innum kuda devan nam kangalai therakkattu in the midst of all the fears around us and upon us and upon me enakkum kuda hallelujah Let's live with this tremendous hope. இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு fulfillment அருமையான நம்பிக்கையின் அருமையான நம்பிக்கையின் நிறைவில் நாம் வாழ்வோம். Amen. May God help all of us. தேவன் நமக்கு உதவி செய்யட்டும். To live in the light of that Amen. glorious call and purpose of God in our lives. நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே மகிமையான நம்பிக்கையுடைய அழைப்பு இருக்கிறது. தேவனுடைய பிரசன்னத்திலிருந்து காணப்படும். Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah Lord.
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, may God open our eyes of understanding. It's not enough that we know the truth. We have understood that. Or to say that we have heard it even before in some measure. But the reality of it, my brothers and sisters, is we must be apprehended by the word and the truth. And the Holy Spirit must bring us into that place. That we live with this great call of God and the fulfillment of the Feast of Tabernacles on our horizon. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. God has encouraged us through the life of Samuel. How prophetic it is. Hallelujah, Lord. It takes a travail. Travail. The spirit of travail must enter into a remnant today. As Hannah. With, with cries and tears. Hallelujah. How important it is for us. Thank you Jesus. That one man. That male child. A corporate man. Is God's need. Hallelujah. As soon as he was born. He was caught up. As soon as Samuel was born. He was in the house of God. Bearing a forward and ministering as a child. For he was born to that. The travail was for that. His birth was so designed. Even so will be the man child. Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Oh Ramaka Shaka Ramakai. Hallelujah Lord. Open our eyes Lord. My prayer even this morning is, Lord, that you would open the eyes of many of my young brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, Lord. Beyond the niceties of the word. Oh God, I pray that the prophetic word may grip them, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray at this time for all of us as your people, called out and separated, not unto a doctrine, but unto a life, unto that purpose in Christ Jesus. Lord, we pray, open the eyes of our understanding, O God, Beyond mere knowledge and mere truth of God. Apprehend us. Draw us, O oh God, into that place. As the remnant came back all the way to Jerusalem with one mind of God. Help us in these days to gather unto you. Though we are scattered in many places, Lord. Bring us in oneness of the spirit, Lord, as one man and the spirit, Lord of travail, enter into our hearts even today, Lord. Kuramakya Sakai. Oh God, oh God. Leave those compartmental things of God in our lives. To celebrate this feast. Corporately to come into experience. Oh God. 
the full atonement, the full power and potential of the blood of Christ. Oh God, the church hasn't, we haven't, oh God, let the travail enter into us as it happened with Hannah, as it happened, Lord, with that company there. Lord, as we read in the book of Revelation 12, oh God, it speaks about us today, Lord. Open our eyes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, bring us to that place, oh God. Spirit of travail, enter into us, Lord. Bring us to that realm, oh God. We also travail. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, bring us to that place. Commit all of us with God, wherever we may be. The youngest one, the younger ones, the older ones with God. What is our life otherwise? You're called us according to your purpose. Oh God, grip us with that. Lord, Holy Spirit, we pray. Yes. Write it upon our hearts by the, thy finger, O Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. We thank you. The power of your blood is a great force against the enemy, Lord Jesus. They overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb. Because of the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Is waiting there. Resisting against. Even as you said to Joshua. Remove the garments. Lord you will order it. And one day. You will do a work of God. Father it's our prayer. Lord. Humanly impossible for a Samuel. But. It is possible with you. Even so. It is possible with you to bring forth a man child, a corporate man, a many membered man. Oh God, you are able to. It is your need. You will have them to administer as an instrument of administration in your kingdom, oh God. Hallelujah. We give you the glory, we give you the praise. Lord, help us to experience the power and the potential of the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Open our eyes to see further, Lord, in our meditations. Help us, Lord. Holy Spirit, continue to work in us, in our depths, in these days of God. And each day we may walk in the power, the efficacy and the potential of that blood. Yes, we God in our lives. Worship thee, bless thee, thank thee. For that which you have spoken unto us. Thank you, Father. Give you the glory, give you the praise. Preserve us, Lord, in these days. Keep us. That we may be a people unto you. O oh God. A people who will be brought into that special relationship to fulfill your purpose in these end times. Help us to live with this wonderful fulfillment of Feast of Tabernacles upon our horizons. Worship thee, bless thee, give you all the glory and praise, Father. In Jesus' most precious and matchless and victorious name, we pray. Amen.